Wall Street is starting the final trading week for the month of June deep in the red. The Dow Jones Industrial Average fell by as much as 200 points or minus 1.3 percent. The Nasdaq Composite Index and S&P 500 are also seeing a sell-off today down by at least 1.5 percent. Now, U.S. equity markets are tracking global equity markets into negative territory. We saw China's Shanghai Index fall by over 5 percent. Now, this does continue on the heels of last week's uh, volatility as well as decline in global bourses. First and foremost, we have concerns about the timing of when the Fed will begin to wind down its bond buying program. And also there are concerns about tighter financial conditions over in China. And Goldman Sachs joined other investment banks in downgrading the growth forecast for China. Now Goldman Sachs cut second quarter GDP growth for this year to 7.5% from the 7.8% initially estimated. The growth figures for China, uh, according to Goldman Sachs, by forecast for this this year and next year were also reduced. Now, moving on to corporate news, we are seeing some M&A action. Vodafone Group announced it will be buying Cable Deutschland in a deal worth 10 billion U.S. dollars. And Tenet Healthcare shares are up by 7%. The number three U.S. hospital chain here in the U.S. will be acquiring Vanguard Health Systems in a deal worth $1.8 billion in cash. As a result, we are seeing shares of Vanguard uh, Health up by 67%. Meanwhile, Citigroup uh, shares are down by 2% following other financials lower on this Monday morning. Citigroup will be unveiling the opening of a representative office in Baghdad uh, today. Now, Citi is the first U.S. bank to expand in Iraq. And over in the foreign exchange market, we are seeing the U.S. currency trade higher against most currencies with the exception of the Japanese yen. The euro dollar has broken below the 130 level and the dollar yen pair is uh, currently holding at the 97.65 level.